Christopher Columbus is a famous Italian explorer, mostly known for discovering the New World and what we know today as America. In 1492, Columbus left Spain and sailed out across the Atlantic Ocean in search of a shorter route to the Far East in order to have access to resources. Contrary to popular belief, Columbus was not the first person to discover America. 500 years before Columbus came Leif Erikson and his Vikings and established the first settlement. Christopher Columbus landed on what we know today as America and began European colonization. America was inhabited by the Arawak Indians. When Christopher Columbus landed, he believed he landed in India and called the Arawaks Indians. Columbus took notice to how generous and kind-hearted these people were and decided to take advantage of it. He enslaved the Arawaks and had them work the harsh conditions of the gold mines. Christopher Columbus was a human trafficker, selling young girls into sexual slavery, and in less than two years, half the population of Arawaks were killed off. If the natives resisted working, Columbus would release attack dogs. If they tried to escape, Columbus would burn them alive. If Columbus ran short on food to feed the attack dogs, he would use the Arwaks babies as dog food. The king and queen of Spain pardoned Columbus of his horrendous crimes because they received wealth from the gold he stole from the natives. Um, he was sent here from Spain. Um, he, he's known for discovering America. They really discovered America. The natives was here. Um, yeah, he started colonization. Um, he thought he landed in uh, India. It was actually America. He didn't really discover America. Somebody discovered it before. It was people here when he got here, so. He landed in uh, Hispaniola, Jamaica, something like that. Um, I think it was India. It really wasn't. He discovered, well, he claimed the island of where he got as a student, obviously, I would want a day off, but I don't think he should be recognized for um, discovering America. I think we should celebrate it, just don't recognize someone who who doesn't deserve to be recognized. I don't believe Christopher Columbus should be considered a national you know, because when you have a holiday, it's like Christmas, and good cause and good reason. I think we should definitely replace with something else because we're promoting, because if we do um, continue to celebrate, we're promoting um, rape, torture, killing, and that's not something we want. I think it changes as you get older and you find out the truth. Because as you're younger, they teach you, oh, it came to America, you just all of those stuff. You get to high school and they teach you that um, all the cool things that you actually did. Some of the things were rape, Torture, um, stealing, um, revolt. He was a rapist. Um, that he obviously came to burden a good majority of um, Indians, um, all the Indians, and Native Americans. They did go through all this cruel stuff, trying to take over the airline back home, and um, went through so much struggles in their lives. Should, they should be recognized for, them, for all the hardships that they do. I knew um, about my island, um, personal like, family. I learned the majority of it in school, never, but they never classified him as like, a rapist or a killer or a murderer or something like that. They classified him as a hero because um, everybody looks at him for discovering America. Do enough people know about all of the terrible things Columbus did to the indigenous people of America? If people knew the truth, would we celebrate Columbus Day as a national holiday? This is Christopher Columbus Exposed.